good morning everyone uh, this is delhi ophthalmological state best uh, paper so i am going to present on this one so i am dr amar pujare i am assistant professor at rfi center and these are my co-authors none of us have any any financial interest so basically this is a macro lens which you'll get on amazon or any online website for 100 rupees so this is a basically 10x magnifying lens okay so this clip is for uh, clipping onto the phone so when you have phone you can clip onto any camera so if you have central camera the clip length is going to vary you can bring uh, the clip according to your customized phone you can order it on smart uh, online so basically you are going to clip this lens along the phone and you are going to either use the light of the smartphone or you can use the light of the street lamp so some of the observations we have done in anti segment imaging so this is how we are going to clip the lens along the smartphone and these are some of the pictures taken so we will ask the patient to sit in in front of the slit lamp in a routine manner and we are going to either project a slit lamp a diffuse light slit light or a smartphone light even you can turn on the blue filter see this is how you can capture the anti segment pictures if you are dilating you can take anti capsule or post capsule any images so similarly if you are holding a 90d adapter lens in the left hand and a macro lens clip smartphone in the right hand you will be able to take the optic disc images as well as the macular images so this is a bit difficult but with repeated tries you can do this one third one is eye distortion quantification there is a smartphone free application where the camera application is going to have a protractor that is freely available on app store you can download that one after clipping this one you can take the pictures by centering the protractor at the center of the pupil pre operatively you can take and in patients basically i am a strabismus surgeon so in patients who are having either infraoblic overaction uh, oblique muscle paralysis you can take pre operatively and you can tra trace any iris script and post operatively you can similarly take the in the same manner picture provided the uh, center of the protractor is in the center of the pupil so you can draw any script which you have trace pre operin pre and post operatively so you can quantify exactly to what extent the eye has i has been rotated so similarly torical alignment can also be quantified so here you can see we have taken the diffuse anti segment pictures that is a magnified picture these are two different cases when you are able to see three dots of iol you can draw a perpendicular line or a, a parallel line along the uh, three dots from the peripheral dot towards the peripheral protractor mark so you can quantify from the horizontal to what degree the iol uh, has been oriented so if it is decentered if like post operative results you are not satisfied along the visual correlation you can rotate the eyes so in some patient we did and we were able to see around 1.4 degrees correlation between what you are going to do on uh, standard anti segment oct and on this one so again you can capture the images from 30 degree angulation see here if you are taking picture from the temporal side 0 degree angulation perpendicularly you won't be able to appreciate the anterior capsule but if you rotate 30 degree from the temporal degree uh, temporal angulation you'll be able to see the cornea as well as the anterior capsule so this is how you can quantify the central corneal thickness as well as the endothelial to anterior capsule that is aqueous depth by transferring these images into image software here you can see these images i have transferred to image j so i have magnified these images to 50% in all conditions so i'm going to set a scale after that i'm going to draw a line from endothelium to anterior anter capsule so this is going to give aqueous depth similarly i'm going to magnify for the images and i'm going to draw a line from the endothelium to corneal surface or surf surface septum again i'm going to quantify the central corneal thickness so there is another free application called infrared camera this is available in all android phones and smartphones so you can download that camera and once you avert the eyelid or after clipping the lens, lens this lens you can even image the mebone glands in in case of dry eyes you are able to see the mebone gland is there any drop out or is the anatomy normal similarly inferior angle quantification this was described as van erik plus grading system dr sihota et al what they are going to do is they are going to throw a 3 mm slit from a 30 degree angulation initially i did showed a 30 degree angulation so they are going to project 1.5 mm from limbus towards the cornea 1.5 mm over the sclera so this is how you are able to capture the images from the front and subsequently we are going to transfer these images to image software and we are going to use the angle tool from endothelium to iris surface so that is going to give how much angulation is there so compared with anti segment oct so on an average around 3 degrees on this side or that side you can roughly quantify what is the anti chamber angle this is iris icl vaulting so similarly icl vaulting nothing but the distance between the icl posterior surface to the anterior capsule as i showed in the previous observation 30 degree angulation so again we are going to take pictures from 30 degree angulation and we are going to transfer the images into image software and we are going to measure the distance between the posterior surface of the icl and the anterior capsule so by further magnifying even you can acquire the 
puncta and we assess the punctal size in case of basically I'm also oculoplastic surgeon. So we can, uh, after transferring the image, you can see that there is a yellow scale we compared to the ASOCT. So there is a gross correlation, but there is no fine correlation. This is very gross observation, but previous ones, previous ones are very accurate observations. So this is a for educational purpose. Even you can appreciate the Brownian moment of the anti-segment cells. You are able to see towards the anti they are going down and towards the lens, they are going up. So we are trying on this one, we are trying to calculate the endothelial cell velocity using this method. So this observation under, sorry, this observation is like still under uh, progress. So we are not concluded it. So to conclude, using this simple macro lens, higher quality ocular images can be obtained for assessment, documentation, and quantification, and for teaching purposes as well. Thank you. Thank you, Dr.